Julia Clayton Jones. I'm director of the Serpentine Gallery and co-director of exhibitions and programmes. My name is Hans Ulrich Robles, and we're going to do this as a ping pong. So let's walk to the show. This is the first room that you come to when you come into the Serpentine Gallery, and it's the first of really two chapels um, of Richard, work, Richard Prince's work. Um, and I think perhaps it's important to say this work is really basically. It's, it's not a retrospective by any means. It does include most of the bodies of works that he has made, starting from the 1980s through to the present day. And in this room, there are four spectacular hoods, which are car hoods that he has made and installed really as one complete work. Mr. Prince really tried out a completely new experiment of display. And um, I mean, what is interesting is that he wanted his exhibition from the beginning to be related also to the different scale of the Serpentine is, because the Serpentine is more a house than a monumental museum. It's the scale of a house, and he basically found out that the scale of the house here is not so different, basically, from the scale of his houses, the different places he works, the body shop, the exhibition space he has, the, the, where he does a lot of experiments in this place, studio. Um, so, so here we have another hood, but we have a chapter which is actually not composed only of the Kahoot, but which is composed of very different series, which is composed of a joke, of a check painting, and of one of the very early cowboys, which actually um, is from the 80s. Mm -hmm. And I think it's important to say that this, all these works come from Richard Prince's collection. So when we initially began planning the show, it was going to be a collaboration with the Guggenheim. So the Guggenheim show was going to be edited for presentation at the Serpentine. Mm -hmm. But actually in conversation with him, and most importantly at Rainsville where he lives, and the way he does, as Hans Roy has been talking about, the way the certain um, sort of blocks, the certain areas that he painted, he has one extraordinary room which is displayed as a gallery. It's a gallery only for himself, it's not open for the public. And that really gave him and us the impetus to really think about the Serpentine show in a different way. Yeah. And so this is all work that he owns, work therefore that really has not been seen. And of course, because he owns it, these are pieces that he's kept back because he feels they're the finest examples of this ongoing series of work that he runs in tandem. And that's why the show is called a continuation. It's not actually a show which is only because of new work, there is also old work, it's just a different type of retrospective. It's a kind of a composite reality. And what is interesting, and we see that in the next sure. room, how actually new work, old work, enters a, a, a situation which is completely non-linear. So here we have uh, very early photographs um, uh, from uh, uh, sort of early work that goes up to the most recent work, which he just finished a few uh, weeks before the show starts here, which are his most recent de Kooning uh, paintings. And, uh, that started and so the moment Richard did not have a studio some years ago because there was some work going on there, so he had a book of the Kooning and he wanted to work anyhow. So he suddenly realized the women of the Kooning, there was a link to the hippie drawings he had made mm -hmm. and um, uh, basically started to, I mean he wrote hippies on the book and then started to, to, uh, um, to work on those drawings and, and sort of also add things to the de Kooning paintings on the book page. So hands and feet which the Kooning's women never have and then at a certain moment started to kind of go into the paintings from there and make a whole series which has now been going on for uh, I would say more than two years and these are the most recent or certainly the most painterly ones yeah. uh, and uh, hands and feet is not all he added either <laughs> Because that's the nuance, that's what happened afterwards. And he also at a certain moment he added actually man, there's not only the cooning women, is all of a sudden man yeah, that yeah. came into the mix. And then we can basically say it yet keeps the spirit actually of uh, what he wanted from the beginning of the collection. So he wanted it to be a house, a collection, so we have actually also uh, not only the recent work, the old work, we have also um, uh, a memorabilia no, from his collection. He has this extraordinary collection of books. Um, uh, it was inst installed and displayed in a house in, um, in Rainsville near where he has his studio. And these are, of course, um, their books of the most value, of course, of the prestige. But here you have a sort of absolutely popular novel, nothing more than that, then the painting that he did of it, and then finally, of course, you've got the great, um, the great finished, you could say, masterwork. With this <laughs> fantastic, newly completed car, of course, um, some of your readers will have seen the car that he did at Freeze last mm -hmm. year, but this is absolutely a sort of the sort of the newest piece in the show, one might say. One could also is say that the 
Yeah, I totally works. It just doesn't have oil and fuel in it now. But if one would add it, it could it could uh, yeah. it could work. Here you've got this wonderful view of the girlfriends. These these early photographic prints of the girlfriends here, and of course the girlfriends absolutely as um, now, which are the, they cover the whole surface of the car here, mm -hmm. which, as Hans Eric says, is a sort of is um, is an operable um, uh, vehicle. Um, it's also a classic of its kind in design terms, so people who are really interested and knowledgeable about cars know that this is one of the sort of re really absolutely e excellent examples of vintage cars. But he's playing all the time, so in this room, which is a combination of prints, photographic prints, you've got on the wall a return, um, a, a, a photograph of a basketball um, standing in the, in the landscape, which is a sort of extraordinary sort of sculpture mm -hmm. on the one hand, and then yet another car hood here, which is propped up when you see around the other side by um, a basketball, which acts as a stand. Yeah. So again, this play is surface and also structure. Um, and they're just gorgeously um, satisfying and rich plays throughout the whole, the whole exhibition. You know, the picture of the, the car hood um, up here when you've got car hoods elsewhere in the show is sculpture, and yet here you can see the inside of the working of the car. They're just these wonderful juxtapositions. And really, it's a sort of highly edited um, version that includes really seminal work, of which, which he has chosen together with us to install in this exhibition.